Hi everyone. Um, basically, I'm going to do this quick uh, animation tip. One of the things I got out of this book, out of Cheat in Maya. It's really good, actually. Well worth getting if you don't know Maya that well. I'm not sure how many people in my class do, so I'm just going to say this one really quickly, and uh, hopefully it'll help speed things up when you're doing these sorts of basic test beginner stuff that we're getting. So. This is the graph editor uh, for <laughs> all practical purposes for the video. And what I want to talk to you about is when you're doing a basic animation such as a bouncing ball and you've got different keys set on an object and so you've got, you'll click on the translation for and something and you'll get your nice little uh, movement curve, whatever it happens to be. And then you'll click on one of the rotational curves and you can see the nice rotation curve like that and it's fine but if you click on a couple at once your translation curve becomes this tiny little squiggle up top while your rotation is this big massive thing and they're actually really hard to work on at the same time so you're constantly clicking back just on this to get this nice single thing and then clicking on the rotate to get it separately and so how can you work on these effectively at the same time and what you get is if you go up at the top of the graph editor into the menu under my it says curves it's one of the menus under that you go to normalize and that's where it all happens normalize curves and when you click on when you enable that it's just one of these little on off options if you shift uh, control select a translate option and a rotate option you'll get this translate curve in a nice sort of one-to-one -one relationship with your rotational curve underneath it and then you know this is actually technically vast bigger than this if the values are the same but you can then start working on your tangents as uh, at the same frame time so they're all still in exact uh, coordination with each other but it's a lot easier to do them both at once. So that's my tip for Graph Editor to speed things up really quickly for a start. Uh, and then it's just a denormalize to get it back off there. Um, and yeah, so enjoy my hot Graph Editor tip. I recommend this guy's book, um, How to Cheat in Maya. Eric Luter, former AM student. Uh, I'm not going to read you the whole book, but that's one of my. That was one the big thing where I was reading through it, and it was like finally that's one of the major things I've been wanting to know how to do. So enjoy it, class, and uh, see you in class next time.